If you have not seen part one, be sure to check it out because I talk about a baseball game and how awesome it is going to baseball game. Now, they always said that driving movie theaters is something that 2010 kids will never, never, ever understand. Unluckily for them, they were completely wrong with that logic because just a couple of days ago, not a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, about a couple of weeks ago, I managed to go to a drive-in movie theater and it was very, very epic. There was a bunch of people right off the bat. I already knew this was going to be one of those events that is packed to the brim. He is putting wood on his bed. That is not good. It's going to be one of those events that's completely packed to the brim. So, first of all, yep. Ooh. Wait, he bought mining fatigue? What? Oh, he beats me. Or not. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I probably should not have been able to get that. There's already like a thousand people at this movie theater, right? It's $50 per car, which is quite a bit of money if you're just a couple of people going. But we're like, we'll accept it, you know. We want to go to this movie. We'll, we'll enjoy it. It was Indiana Jones. I'll get talk about the movie after I talk about the main experience. So, there's like parking spots everywhere. It's a gravel driveway. A lot of kids are falling and getting hurt, but obviously their parents don't care because they literally do nothing about it. I go there with a couple of cousins, a couple of friends, and... I'm gonna sandwich him between pink. Me and pink. Oh! <laughs> that was my kill, pink. Oh, that's the best time for me to lose my bed. So there's a bunch of people there, and the way they transmit sound is they have like these microphones, these old tin microphones, just transmitting sound next to every single big parking spot. I go to get some snacks, because we brought a little bit of our own snacks, but of course they didn't bother sharing with me. So I try to go and get some snacks. Small bowl of popcorn, $12. I only want, the medium popcorn was like $16. It was like completely unreasonable prices. So we sit down, it takes like an hour for the actual movie to start, because we need to get it dark enough so we can actually like see the screen. Gray? I don't know where Gray's gone, but he, he just went away, I guess. What? 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 Like um, evasive maneuver was that? Watch this guy be really good. Yeah, he's a Steve skin, a level 88 Steve skin. Oh. Bro, I got hit with the double block off. Oh. Wow, that was pretty clean. That was pretty solid right there. That is what we call an epic Castrol J move. Of course, now I'm going to have to clutch the game, which is kind of bad because I probably won't be able to do it. So once the movie finally starts, it's Indiana Jones. It's the newest Indiana Jones there is. And already, I hate, the, I hate it so much. First of all, it's all about Indiana Jones, right? They didn't capture the old Indiana Jones feeling at all. Like, Indiana Jones didn't even look or sound like Indiana Jones just because he was so old. I think it was the same actor, though. There was, like, this weird thing where he had a, you know, he has a fear of snakes, but in, like, randomly throughout the movie, they get attacked by eels, and he randomly just says, Water snakes! Which isn't that funny, because they don't really look like snakes at all. They're just eels. Like, it's it's just an eel. It's not a water snake. Another thing that really sucked was there was not a single whole theater lapse out loud. Not one moment where everyone in the theater just goes, Haha, there was like, <laughs> dead silence. It was a little bit ridiculous. It, it sucked all around. The ending, also, they were like, some weird Nazi time travel stuff. It felt, the whole Nazi part felt a little bit forced. It was like every other Nazi-involved story literally ever in the space of time. It kinda sucked. It kinda sucked. It ended with Indiana Jones getting knocked out by a woman because she won't let him do what he wants. So for some reason she thinks uh, violence is the answer, I guess. Watch this guy do me. Yep. Oof. Why did they make that so hard? I don't know what they was doing, but they must have been like drag drag looking because oh my Give me the golden apples, baby. So the movie sucked. The experience was fun, 
but like halfway through the movie, no one at all was paying attention. <sighs> My friends and cousins were like literally just all on their phone. I was pretty much the only one that was trying to pretend to still be paying attention, but they, I think everyone pretty much knew that no one was like watching the movie anymore. And it got a little bit annoying because while I was trying to focus on the movie, at the end, they were like, my cousins in the back would be on their phones watching TikTok and memes. So they'd be laughing and giggling and like smacking each other with their feet. And I'd be asking them to freaking sit down and watch the movie. And they'd be like, no. I'm like, oh. So you have a fireball, don't you? He doesn't now, but he certainly does. Wait, does he not have a fireball? I love doing that to kids, just fireballing them in their face. Bro, I'm gonna have to kill this kid with fireballs. Uh, that was a bit of an awful moment. I feel a little bit bad. This guy does not... So yeah, the movie absolutely sucked. The experience was fun enough. But the movie ended at literal midnight. So I was straight up. They had to drop off all of the friends and cousins before I could go to the place where I was going to sleep. So I was full on. Oh, God. He's God bridging. I was full on awake at 1 a.m. Just completely dazed. My brain was just not working at all. I was like. My thought process did not extend beyond the um, number 10 and colors. Dang. Okay. Okay. No need to try so hard, bro. Oh, he got all that stuff. He's gonna stash it. Nope, he's gonna run away. Okay. All right, all this stuff. Oh, he's so low is the thing. way. So yeah, I did enjoy my movie theater experience. Uh, I'm assuming it was better in the old days when everyone paid attention and the snacks cost like 10 cents, but it was still fun to go to. If you enjoyed videos like these, please like and subscribe because it would mean a lot to me. Castrol J is out.